Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 48. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel. Then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 41 to 48. Hey, this YouTuber had time that he wanted to look up. He um, is assigning, based on time, a score for push ups. So if you can do push ups in. Uh, 19 or 20 seconds, you get a score of 847. If you do push-ups in uh, 42 seconds, you'd get a score of 660. So we want to see how to do this. And there's, uh, he said he was having problem with figuring out what what to do with the column part of the VLOOKUP, but there was two other problems also. Sometimes he had time, sometimes he had a word, and sometimes he had a blank, and so he wanted a formula that would work in any case. Now the first thing is that this is time. You want to enter it in when you enter in time, 00, zero colon, 00, zero colon, and then some number for seconds, hours, minutes, seconds. And the table has to be set up the same way. Now, just to remind us, um, when you enter in time, it's not really the one second in there. It's actually the proportion of one 24-hour day. So if I control shift tilde, it's some tiny, tiny number there. I'm going to control Z. Same with up here. Control shift tilde is the keyboard shortcut for general format. In 2007, you could just go up to the home and under the number tab, you could point to general. Otherwise, you could control one and the format cells. The format cells dialog box is pretty slow here. Control one and then under number, select general. Look at that. That number is pretty small. So when we have, I'm going to control Z. When we have 20 seconds, it's a very small amount of Proportionally of one 24-hour day. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. And here's our lookup table. Why don't we name this table? I'm going to highlight the two cells here. Control Shift Down Arrow. Come up to the name box and type Time. Enter. All right, now we're going to do our VLOOKUP. But remember, there's there's two uh, problems. We have words and we have uh, text. So if it's a word, we want a blank here. And if it's blank, we want a blank here. So we're actually going to do an if with two logical tests. And then we're going to do our VLOOKUP. So equals if open parentheses. And I'm going to say or open parentheses, because the or will take two logical tests. If it is a word, or if that's true, or if it's a blank, if that's true. So the or is great, because either one of these two logical tests can come out to be true, and the or will say true to the if, and then it will put a blank in. So we're going to use two formulas, is text, is text. And is text is just a true false. Is it text? If it is, like here, it'll say true, so then it'll put a blank here. So this is inside the or. Now we're going to do is, is blank. No way, there's a bunch of is blanks. Is this blank? That either comes out to be true, like down here. This uh, if here will be looking here. Is that blank? It'll come out to be true, so it'll put a blank here. Now notice, those are I put a close parentheses, or, and then it's two test. Either one of those come out true, then the whole or comes out true. Well, if, if the or delivers a true, then what do we want? We want comma blank. That is double quote, double quote, with nothing in between. Otherwise, in our if formula, so there's the true false. That's what to put in the cell if this comes out to be true. Now, what to put in the cell if it's false? That means there's a time there. We're going to use our VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, what do we want to look up? This. Comma, and then we've named our table time, comma, and it's in our second column. Column one is the time, that's the thing we're looking up. Column two is the score, that's the thing we want to return to the cell. So the whole trick to column index, you don't highlight the whole column like this YouTuber did. You just type a two because that's column one, that's column two. If the thing you want to return is from column two, just type a two. And then uh, comma, we don't need to use that final argument because we're using approximate match. Close parentheses on the VLOOKUP, close parentheses on the IF, control enter. Now we can drag and send it down. Now notice here, and if we run formula evaluator, alt T, 
TUF, or Formula, Formula Auditing, Evaluate Formula in 2003. It's Tools, Formula Auditing, Alt, TUF. We can see how this works. It's looking at is text, and it's looking at the word injured. Is that, oh, that came out to be true. Then it's looking to see if it's blank. That's false, but because one of them is true, the or delivers a true. So it's going to put a blank and skip over the whole VLOOKUP. If you do Alt T U F, which is the keyboard shortcut for uh, evaluate formula, we can see how this works here. Evaluate. It's looking at the is text. It's going to say false. It's going to look at the is blank. It says false. So or sees two falses, so it delivers false. So it's not going to put the blank in. Now it goes through the VLOOKUP. And it finds that 710. Now, one other problem here. We want to scroll down. Uh, let's look at uh, 37 seconds. Now, because this is time, and uh, it's a proportion of one day when we can, when we apply a Control Shift tilde there, we see a very small number. I'm going to Control Z. It's looking up that very small number. So if this isn't exactly the same as the number here, meaning that, that unrounded decimal underneath, then you may run into trouble. Now here, watch this. We're, we're supposed to find 37 seconds. And let's do it ourselves. If we were returning this ourselves, we'd race through this. We'd find 37. But it should be returning 694 but it's returning 711. The only thing that can mean is that this number is not really uh, exactly 37 seconds. It has to be less than what we see in this uh, cell right here. So let's apply our general format, Control Shift tilde. Notice it's 0.000482. And then come here and Control Shift tilde, and you can see that it's not the same number. So when you set this up, you want to set up this table because you can type these in 00 colon 00 colon 20 but there's some problem down here now you could use some fancy text formulas to to match them but my advice would be to set this table up exactly type these in exactly correct and then you won't run into that problem i'm going to control z there that's how to use um, the if or is text and is blank to eliminate in words like injury and blanks and then the V lookup to look up a time. All right, see you next YouTuber trick.